Okay. You know, I uh, always get asked about magnetism and uh, useful applications. There are many, including a few devices that I'm working on, of which a few people have seen um, and experimented with. One of the most uh, useful and uh, practical, not in that group, is a uh, device for extracting gold. Uh, gold is diamagnetic. Now, I've got a link below uh, where actually a person is dropping a uh, one-tenth ounce gold coin past a magnet. Um, it actually decelerates once it hits the centrifugal um, periphery of the magnet on the other side of the aluminum bar. Um, I grew up um, messing with minerals and I had a lap wheel and I even uh, panned for gold more than a few times. I even independently traveled to Dahlonega, Georgia, a tiny little town in the mountains of uh, Georgia, uh, east of Atlanta, very, very hilly terrain. Um, interesting device. If anybody would like to fly me to Canada or Alaska, I will build um, for no charge. All you have to do is pay for the travel and the food and the lodging. I will build and consult for you for free. I like to travel actually, so it would be uh, fun, but uh, I guarantee you to create for you device that will uh, aid in the uh, uh, extraction of gold. I know one of the serious issues of uh, sluicing and uh, large uh, wash boxes is uh, capturing the baby powder uh, gold or some call it flower gold. And due to the laminar flow of the water and uh, actually the celerity of the water, an enormous amount of gold in wash plants is actually lost um, and carried out by the water. I mean, it's no use moving dirt if you're just washing the gold out in the end. Obviously, some of the lar larger powder is obviously caught and uh, the smaller flakes and obviously the nuggets, which are getting fewer and fewer. But the majority of the gold is being washed out in the wash of the wash plant, especially people that are moving serious gold. Now, there is one patented device, but it is incorrectly designed. I literally wrote the book on magnetism. Um, gold's diamagnetic. What people don't understand, however, in the device that uh, was actually created is that it is improperly using the magnets, and it is not a staged array. Most people think that a magnet is a magnet, and logically that would seem sensible. However, that's not the case. I'm on the fourth edition of a book on magnetism. I literally did write the book on magnetism. Here is bismuth, for example, so I could actually clarify for you what I'm talking about as far as this device being incorrectly used. And they are extracting more gold using a, a magnet bar, but it's just laying across the laminar flow of water. What they're doing is that they're using the entire face of the magnet, assuming that's the entire magnetic field. However, that's not the case. Gold is diamagnetic. Here is a ball of 100% pure bismuth that I cast. This is the universe's most diamagnetic element. Diamagnetic basically means hates magnetism. Uh, across the $1,000, I don't want to get it near my computer, which is why I don't have it here on the table. <laughs> $1,000 monster magnet is easily demonstrable, as I've done in other videos, including on like a 2-inch by 2-inch uh, chrome-plated neodymium iron boron like this. It is demonstrable, however, showing you that on a video is somewhat difficult, is that while the bismuth is repelled against the centrifugal edge of the magnet, it is impelled or accelerated towards the centripetal center of the magnet. What this means is that those magnetic arrays are not only incorrect, they're incorrectly positioned, they're incorrectly used, and they're not using them in a staged array to decelerate out the fine baby powder gold out of the flow. Um, people don't understand what a magnet is and what it does and how the diamagnetism relates to the centrifugal field of the magnet relational in proportion to the centripetal. All, the centripetal is actually drawing the gold up towards it while it is being decelerated from the centrifugal. The face and some of the arrays that I've actually seen in their single bar arrays and I've already consulted one person that has built, he's up in Canada, has uh, built a, a sluice box system and I've I spent countless hours going over the schematics with him and uh, now uh, he's in the process of uh, building uh, gold sluicing uh, devices. Um, 
using a, a multi-array uh, three bars in the case of uh, the, uh, the sluice box that he designed um, based upon my design. This isn't theory. This is 100% practical. It absolutely does work. I have, by the way, you can buy uh, um, uh, powdered gold on eBay very easily. And it's easy to test this by making a miniature sluice box um, and actually uh, siphoning the gold through it, then re-siphoning the gold out through the wash and actually seeing that, hey, this gold is being washed without the magnetic array and this gold is being decelerated and actually captured in the moss um, in uh, gold extraction. Um, so if anybody would uh, like uh, for me to build them that array, I'd be altogether too happy. I'm certainly not going to pay for uh, for travel, and I'm certainly not going to pay for uh, food and uh, hotel, but uh, I am available for uh, three or four day stints anywhere in Alaska or Canada that you'd like. I'd be happy to help you uh, build it. If at the end of the season you uh, feel uh, any implication uh, to make a donation, not that you're obligated to, that I would be open to. But there are no strings attached. I actually do like helping people, and this is not theory. This is 100% absolute hardcore fact. Gold is diamagnetic, but nobody understands magnetism. Like I said, I literally wrote the book on magnetism. The book is free, by the way, if you'd like to download it. It's called Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. It is free on archive.org. The key in using the magnetism to extract the fine powdered gold out of the laminar flow in the wash as you're moving dirt is that you need to use the centrifugal trailing edge and leading edge of the magnet for maximum deceleration of the gold out of the wash and into your moss and or your riffles depending on your system. This is the secret. You see, if you actually, most people don't know that human beings don't know how magnets work. I will tell you, however, if you want to go to any of the world's largest uh, magnet makers on Earth, they'll all have a fact page, frequently asked questions. And every fact page has something uh, to the akin of how do magnets really work. And the answer to that by these many world's largest manufacturers of magnets, they will tell you flat out, we don't know how magnetism works, instantaneous action at a distance, we don't know. I, however, do know, and that was my big discovery. My book has an enormous following. My book is free, by the way, so I'm not selling anything. But if you would like me to help you, I am guarantee you 100%, no ifs, ands, or buts, no theory, 100% hardcore, empirical, existential, objective fact that I can help you extract an enormous, depending on how much dirt you're moving and what sort of pay, obviously it is that you're moving, I can help you extract more gold in your system, whether that be a small, obviously you would want to fly me to Canada for your small sluicing system that fits on your backpack, help you extract more gold out of your wash plant than you are currently doing. That is 100% guarantee, and there are very few guarantees in life. So I don't state that lightly, and I don't state it easily. But the fact that many of these people are washing out a tremendous amount of gold because its relative uh, mass compared to the, to the flow of water is so minuscule that it is just being lost, lost out at the end of the, uh, the wash plant, then that is very important. And capturing that is of extremely high importance. However, no current technology exists to do that. However, I do have that technology and that capability. The amount of equipment and implementation to engineer that to your system, we are talking less, I said less than $1,000. Not that you're paying me, that you would actually have to purchase a Safaris materiel, and I would help you construct it and tell you how it works, and I would even, before you even built it, I would demonstrate it to you that it does, in fact, work. So let me know. My contact information is below, and I'm serious as a heart attack about this. I would not joke because life is short, and nobody's interested in pissing and wasting time. And yes, my services are free. The only caveat to that is if at the end of your season, you felt or were impelled out of uh, ethical decency to make a small donation, then that would be acceptable. But my device and my design does work, and I literally did write the book on magnetism. Everything in the universe is magnetic. 
Everything operates off of capacitance, resistance, permeability, and permittivity. Magnetic permeability and dielectric permittivity. This is the universe's most diamagnetic. It means its magnetic permeability is the lowest. Gold also has a low magnetic permeability. In using centrifugal magnetism, it will decelerate out of your wash and into your riffles. This is a fact. It is not theory. Thank you for watching, and please take my consideration seriously because it is serious. Bye.